name is uh, Reed Beamore. I am a paper engineer. Um, but more specifically, like what I dive into is wire street art. But what I physically do is I bend three-dimensional lines into art things. I do a lot of self-photoshopping, whether if it's like on tracing paper to kind of like work in scaling and like how things like fit in overall setting and composition. Um, but sometimes I just go at it, you know? I have like a bunch of wire rolls and sometimes I'll just look at an image on my phone or the TV and just, just go. And that's, part of, and that's the hardest part about it, is starting and possibly finishing a piece. When I go to work or like drive somewhere and I see like a naked traffic line across the way, uh, I just want to think like, what can I do to really Im impose myself into this beautiful scenery that like I had to stop at at a stoplight. Some materials, when you look at it, they have their own, um, they have their pros and they have their cons. Let's say it that way. Uh, when I use mesh out in the street, and as I said before, like all of my sculptures would start violently flapping because of the closeness of that wire actually turns it into a flat material. And to kind of subdue that, I had to stop using mesh in my street projects so they would last a lot longer. That's when I started doing more inside the gallery flat work instead of just giving my street art away all the time. Um, and that's when it gave me the opportunity to work more with mesh, work more with coloring and layering and um, trying to figure out ways to take my art, which is usually observed from the street, and still give it the same type of feeling and emotion that you would receive inside the whiteness of a gallery scene. Anybody who gets you down for your art process, like really try to separate yourself. The one thing that's gonna have you survive out in this ocean of artists is your individualism and things that separate you or like try to make you feel like different or like not part of the crowd. Inherently, when you grow up, those are gonna be the tools that you're gonna utilize to make your art process you.